Hello, Julie Deal Mooney here today to do an unboxing of my July 2021 Coco Daisy kits. Um, it's called Wisteria Lane. And so before I get into the box, I am going to show you a few things that I have pulled to go with these kits. If you do not want to see all of the uh, consumerism that I have done over the past few years that range in the purple range. Um, I will have the timestamps listed in the description. So if you want to glance down there, it'll get you past all of this other stuff and straight into the unboxing. So I'm going to put this aside and start pulling other things out. So the first thing is planner bling because of course, you know, everybody loves planner bling. So I have a couple here. So, oh, that's loud. Um, I'm going to start with this one. So I just got these today. I was so excited because my box wasn't supposed to come until Monday. Today is Saturday and it came early. And also my swag and clip and dangle from Hearts by Emma um, on Etsy came early. So, oh gosh, look how pretty. I love that little one right there, that little bead. But I like also like the little lavender heart uh, flower. And so, um, have this beautiful swag it's got wisteria and the purples and the pulled the yellow as well and the greens and then I have this clip which also has the same dangles as the um, dangle so there's that from hearts by Emma so I just got that now all of this stuff I just pulled from my crafty room that I have either made or purchased over the last few years. So I made this little glitter kit clip. I'm not gonna go through all of them. Um, this one was from Two Weeks on Mars. I love that one. I don't know if they still have it or not, but I love it. Big old gym. Uh, I have a couple from Fur and You. I have three or four from Fur and You. I have a tassel. Um, some of them are from past Coco Daisy kits. So this was from September of 2020. And so was this one. Um, the theme was kind of moon and stars, and so um, it has that straw on there. And then these, I just love these from Coco Daisy, these little teeny tiny felt um, bows. And then this one is a perennial favorite. It is from Pine and Peony. And I will list all the shops that I've mentioned down below. And um, yeah, so there's my bling that I've collected that matches. Um, planners, I have gathered up planners mostly white. So I have a white one, this white scalloped one that I've used before, and it has this little band that goes on it, and it's black and white polka dotted in the center. And then I have this periwinkle one, and I already prepped it with a periwinkle pen. This is this is the hands-on favorite at this point, unless I look at it and it, it looks different. And then I, make, I made white dividers so that I already have dividers in here so that then when I punch my paper, I can just put it in there. And I just reuse these white dividers month after month because I always have five tabs. I also use them for, um, they're very dirty. I also use them for um, placing my tabs. So I, it used to just take me forever to try to place tabs. But now that I have these five tabs, I just put this behind the page that I'm going to put the tab on and then I know, well, this one's obvious because it's the end, but like this one, then I know exactly where to put it so that they line up evenly. So I'm thinking this is the planner that I am going to use. And it is, I think it's a Carpe Diem. It says Exhale. Where, oh no, it's Webster's Pages. Webster's Pages. Um, the other thing I like about that is that it has this open window right here. So you can use the kit card right there. And it's not very wide. Um, the first two, neither one of those were wide. So this one is an Aura Estelle, and in theory, I love it. It is this kind of metallic-y white, pebbly color, and I love it, but I never pick it. So I've never used it before. It's brand new. Um, if I don't use it soon, I may try to sell it. I don't know, because it just seems silly to have a planner that even though you think it's very pretty, you're never using it. So, uh that one might get used just because I've never used it before. Plus, I'm a sucker for white. So, I have gathered up ribbon. Uh, these four ribbons. Um, I really love this one. I think it's a silk. Nope, it's 100% polyester, but it's a really pretty ribbon. So, I'm, it's very similar to this ribbon, um, but bigger. And I'm thinking about making a bow with that, but I'm not sure. Um, and you just never know when you might want to use a ribbon on a page or something. So, um, I pulled those. And then this little container, I have put 
all the stuff that I might use for shaker pages. And so I do not limit myself to traditional glitter and sequins. Um, I do have sequins, but I also have these, how oh, I peeled the label off of this one, um, diamond dots. They're those little things that you make pictures with. You put each one of these little things, you stick each one of these little things down. But they make really cute um, shaker additions. And I purchased them when, um, last September when the colors were kind of in the same range. So I pulled those out too. I have a couple of other, some more glitters. But this one is, um, I've never tried this one before. This is, I went to Michael's today and I wanted some yellow glitter. There's a ton of gold glitter. That there's, there's, there's some yellow glitter, not as much, but it tends to be either very lemony or very orangey. And I was looking for, this one was the perfect color. And so this is actually embossing powder. So I'm hoping that that will work as glitter. I have already mixed it in. Um, let me move this aside. And I have mixed it in here. Uh, maybe if I turn it sideways, I don't wanna spill it, but if I turn it sideways, you might be able to see it better. So I made a mix. I used old um, sequins, the, the kind of yellowy gold sequins from the, I think it was October, either of last year or 2019. I can't even remember when these um, sequins were from. I think the, um, I can see already in this jar that the embossing powder has a lot of um, static to it. So I have to make sure I use my anti-static bag. Um, other things that I pulled, I have pulled um, a few inks from, um, I use uh, Catherine Pooler and I use the minis. I have some other inks and so if I, if these don't work, I'll pull those. All right, let me put those out of the way. Um, someone was de-stashing their um, Simply Gilded Washi and like I just bought a ton of it. It was not expensive, but I bought a ton of it. But all of these seem like they might go with this kit. So I just pulled them out just because I just recently purchased them. Um, I have this die that I'm going to make shakers with and that's what this is going to go with with that and I mean I've pulled out a bunch of stuff this time um and then I have this pile over here uh, let me see if I can get it over here okay so I have this pen pouch or pencil pouch you know and it's one of those that you put the pens in and then you can you can use it and just sit it on your desk like that so I may use that to sit pens on my desk not sure. I don't think I'll carry it around with me because I really don't use that many pins. I use, <laughs> this is it right here. It is my Blackwing pencil and my Pilot G2. I will use the Coco Daisy pen as well. Um, and that is kind of the limit of what writing utensils I'm using right now. I have really gone down to nothing. Um, these uh, lemon stickies were from Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. June of 2019 and I only have a few left but I thought I might use them because they're so cute I just pulled my whole September kit from 20 and um, so I'll probably go through it once I start figuring out what I'm gonna do and see if I want to pull stuff um, I do like using the sticker the clear sticker pouches and so I pulled the periwinkle one I pulled the gray one and then the uh, white grid one. I'm not sure which one I'm going to use. Probably this one because it's the right color. Um, but any one of those would work. And then, oh, sorry, I hit the uh, pole. And then I had these stars left over from um, uh, September. And so these go along the edge of the page. And so I may use those this month. Not sure. We'll see. And then I just have some glitter paper and that's what I'm using. Uh, these dies for. So I'm going to use this yellow glitter paper and I may use the, well, I may use the white for that part, for the inner part, and then the yellow for the outer. So we'll see how that all comes out. So that's what I've pulled. And so now I get to go back and grab my box. So give me just a minute and I'll get my box back up here. Oh, I forgot. I have one more thing that I have done. Um, so I am a member of the design team. And so we get our um, 
the printables a little bit early just because we have to have stuff done for the blog and that kind of thing. So they do let us get the printables early. So this morning I got busy with my silhouette and I cut out, I mean, just a ridiculous amount of, um, of die cuts, uh, printed and cut them out. But like this one is so pretty. I love that one. Um, and so I did two of those because I, I think I'm going to, I don't know, top and bottom of the page is probably where I'm going. And then this one was really cute for the corner of the page. Really cute. And then this was the um, subscriber printable. So I have all those ready to go. So I'm very excited. All right. Um, I'm going to take a quick break, but I will edit it out because I need to clear all this stuff off my desk and so that I have room for unboxing. Okay, I'm back and I'm going to open up the box. I love that it says, uh, smile your box of, oh, it doesn't say smile your box of happy. It, is. it says share your box of happy at hashtag Coco Daisy. So, I'm getting it open. So, as always, we have the cute yellow polka dot uh, tissue paper. And then we have the kit card for Wisteria Lane. Gosh, that's pretty. I'm not even a fan of purple, but, like, Christine has a way with purple. I think if you mix purple with periwinkle and blue, um, I, I, I get back on board. So, um, yeah, so there's that. Look at all this fun stuff in here. So let me organize it a bit and we'll be back to open everything up. All right, let's get started with the planner kit. So the first thing is this um, adorable clip with wisteria on it. That's really cute. And then we have die cuts. So I will take them out. And I think what, what I'm gonna do is just spread them around a little bit so that you can look at them. And there we go with the die cuts. Lots of cute die cuts. Yeah, this is right. gonna be fun. Okay, um, I know I talk about this a lot, but one time I was opening up Washi, the first, I think it was the first unboxing that I did, and I used an X-Acto knife to get it open, and I cut myself on screen, and I was bleeding, and I had to stop and go get a Band-Aid to keep myself from bleeding. And so I have, I'm a little traumatized by it, so I'm always afraid it's gonna happen again. Ooh, this is a floral washi. Look how pretty that is. So it starts with a lemon, and it goes down to the lemon, and I, oh no, that's not the repeat keeps on going and then it goes to that lemon that's the repeat right there because you can see that flower right there so yeah that's real pretty it's a very long repeat like a foot so very pretty oh and I was going to um roll it back up but yeah, that just didn't work. And then this pen, I think, is very pretty. It's very sparkly, and I never think that you get these and the glitter dots. I just don't think you can see them on screen as pretty as they are in real life. You can kind of get a little bit of the sheen and the shimmer, but in real life, it's very shimmery. It's subtle, but you can definitely see it. All right, I'm gonna put that off to the side. All right, we have a little glassine bag of stuff. So I do save these glassine bags because sometimes I use them for, um, who knows what for, just to do something. So I will save that. And then you get extra um, refills for the pen. And then look at the, the um, transparent dots this month. They're in little teardrop shapes. So that's really cute and different. And I love the colors. All right, I need a spot for stickers. And then this is so fun this month. This side is a pen test sheet, and this side is a stamping ink test sheet. So that's so nice to have and will give me something to do. Because sometimes at night, I'm not ready to start a whole project for my planner, but I want to do a little something. So stamp testing and pen testing is something I can do. And I will pen test, but I probably won't use any colored pens in my planner because we've already gone over that. Look at the checklist this month. It's so cute. Daily to do, a.m. and p.m so cute and you could um laminate that and use it over and over again um yeah but you have a lot on the sheet all right so we have a little um sticky note that says mini to-do list that's so cute so cute 
And then the stickers. Oh, I'm so excited about the planner stickers this month because they've changed. So it's fun to see them in person. Um, I love that Christine is now doing unboxings because um, I generally get my kit a little bit early because I'm on the design team, but Christine does unboxings before they even ship. So I get to watch her unboxings, which is fun because I don't have the kit in hand. So um, yeah, so I have seen this, but it's better seeing it in person. So we have a deco sheet. And then we have an alpha, which is new, and this is a really cute alpha. And then we have the numbers, and then we have some boxes. And then this sheet, they have just combined some sheets together, which I'm so glad that they did. I love that it got July, it's got some ring reinforcers. It's got one tab instead of two. Um, the uh, little stickers that fit right in the tabs, right in that space right there. These all fit in there. And so there's some already printed and then some blank ones. And then the icons are much smaller now. They're so cute. And there's actually more of them. And yes, yeah, so you get five trash cans and five laundry and five cleaning. Um, and one, two, three, four, five, six paydays. Woohoo! Let's hope we get six paydays in a month and five recycle. So yeah, so I love this. And then a few little um, notation uh, stickers there for doctor's appointment, vet appointment, birthdays, July 4th. So that's really cute. And they, she, they still have the holidays at the bottom all listed. So, um, oh, hot dog day is in June. That's fun. So that is the new way the stickers are going to be for um, the planner kit. And I love that. So we have three sheets of planner paper. This is a very pretty field of, of kind of leafy, florally, very pretty E. <gasps> oh, I don't like purple, but I love this. Um, this is so pretty. Gosh, that's pretty. I like that together too. So pretty. And then there's a yellow hatch diamonds. And then, oh, look at that. How pretty is that? That's gorgeous. And then polka dots with changing colors. And then a stripe. Those are all so pretty. So very pretty. And then this month, there's all kinds of new and exciting things this month with Coco Daisy. I always have a hard time figuring out how to get into this pouch. Um, the pouch is bigger this month. It's significantly bigger. Um, I would grab mine, but I don't have it handy. And mine's so full of stuff that it's gonna look even smaller. Um, but this is really cute and a purple tassel. I don't think I have a purple tassel. Um, yeah, that's real cute. And lots of room for stuff, because mine is crammed full right now, so. It's nice to have more space. Okay, so inserts. Um, you can get the planner kit with or without inserts. And then there are a plethora of inserts to choose from. Don't you like how I use my college word today? And um, so I subscribe to the planner, the planner kit with the loose inserts and I get them unpunched. And I get them unpunched because I have a punch that I use for my other pages that, you know, aren't punched. And um, the holes weren't lining up. So now I punch all of my pages. It takes me three or four minutes. It's no big deal. So these are the loose inserts. And mine are an A5 loose inserts. And then in addition to that, this did not come in my planner kit. This was just an add-on that you can buy by itself is an insert. And this is the Daisy Dory in an A5. So they are the same size. But this one is stapled together, and then this one is loose. So I'll go through both of them so you can see, um, just kind of compare and contrast. So this is the July tab, and um, this is very pretty. Oh, and then the uh, week on one page, the color block pages. Dream plan do. This is just so pretty. So pretty. And if you don't use these pages, I have gone in and cut them and made flags out of them just to decorate another page. You can cut them in half and have two sets of them um, so that you can track your exercise on one and meal plan on the other or whatever. Yeah, there's lots of, of options for that. And then this is the weekly spread. 
and you get five of the you get five of the um, striped pages, and then you get five of the whoop, weekly spreads. So let me flip on past those. And then on the front side is a notes page, and on the inside is a monthly spread. That's just gorgeous. The sunshine's not on us, but in us. Oh, that's very nice. And then you have daily to-dos. And I always mean to look and see how many of these you get. I'm guessing it's 31. Um, I don't know for sure. I always have extras left over. I use six of these every week because I don't use a spread for the weekend. Um, and they are meant to go like this so that it's one spread per day. Um, and then you can use whatever, you can put whatever headers you want there. Um, there were some stamps that you can stamp it with. I generally, um, I have stamped it before, but I generally run it through my printer. And so um, I'll just have a file set up that's set up for the headers that I like and the date. I'll print the date on it just by running it through my printer because my printer will print A5 size. So yeah, but if you're gonna do that, um, just a word to the wise, Practice on a sheet of blank paper. Take a piece of blank paper and cut it to that size and then um, try it and then hold it up to your sheet of paper. So those were the loose inserts. Now we're getting into the Daisy Dory. It And this is an A5. It has a craft cover and it has a month on one page, but it's just a little tiny month. Um, I have seen people mark things on this. I just use it to refer. And then a spread. And then it has weekly spreads, but every week is different. And so you can see that it goes blue and then it goes real purple. I tell you, my um, one of my friends who lived next door growing up, it was the 70s, she had a bedspread and it was purple. It was kind of purple ombre and there was like ruffles that like it started off I think it was light and got darker, I think, so it went the other way. But, like, I looked at this page, and that was the first thing I thought of. It was my friend's Emma's bedspread from when we were kids. Isn't it funny how that stuff parks in the back of your brain and then just comes out every once in a while? Um, so, oh, that's a pretty spread, too. I generally pick the spreads that I'm going to use before um, I look at the pictures and I pick. And then about 50% of the time I change my mind after I see it. And so inside the book, there are some spreads so that you can use these for journaling. Um, and people who use the Daisy Dory as a booklet, some they I, I'm not really sure how they use it. But I think, you know, sometimes they'll use a whole, this is like a whole page, a whole day. Um, because you do have a whole month's worth. If you use each one of these blocks and then split Saturday, Sunday, you could fit the whole month in the front half of the page. So you could do planning in the front and journaling in the back or... Um, I cut mine right down the middle and I punch them and I put them in my book. And I don't put every page of the Dory in my book, um, just some of them. I kind of cherry pick which ones I want to use. And then I use the leftover pages for um, dashboards or just, you know, notes or whatever. And so there are spreads, the continue spreads. And then it starts back up with the what I call the weeklies. And so there is a very blue one. And then there's a yellow one. I know I use the yellow one. And then there's a purple and yellow oh, with gingham. And then there's an orange. And then that is a very pretty spread. I'm kind of wonky on the film. And then this is just very pretty. So that is the uh, Daisy Dory in an A5. So hang tight and I'm gonna grab the uh, planner add-on kit. All right, here we are with the planner add-on kit, and it has this cute, cute embroidered lemon clip. So cute. And then there is a dangle. I'm gonna take that one out. And I think I'm going to use my one from Hearts by Emma and this one together. Look how pretty that is. Like that's a really nice dangle. And then we have another washi, and this one is plaid. 
There's nothing about this kit that screams 1970s, but literally I had, now that I've told you about my friend's um, bed spread, I think I had a dress that was a plaid on the bias like this when I was a kid, like, and it was in the 70s, like when I was in like first grade. Um, that was kind of these colors right here. So yeah, I'm all about it, but oh yeah, I love plaid and I love a plaid on, on the diagonal. So cute. I am going to roll that one back up. And then we have some more die cuts in here. these bigger um <coughs> excuse me i love these bigger notepads so this one says checklist and you have the date and you can circle the day and then what needs to be done and so that would be very good when i i sit at work for my last 20 minutes 15 20 minutes thinking about what needs to be done the next day so a lot of times i have to give other people things that i need them for them to do the next day so this will be perfect for that so at the end of this month this is going to work for sure all right put that off to the side Here's another glassine bag, and it is um, taped with a little piece of washi, but if you're very careful, you can take it off without tearing the bag because it's washi. All right, and in the platter, planner add-on kit, you get a few pocket cards. So you get a life without dreams is like a garden without flowers. And then the swatch card, so you can carry that into Hobby Lobby or Michaels or Joann's if you're trying to match something. Make the time to take the time to close your eyes and breathe. That's very good advice. And then this little guy with the smile, your box of happy is here. Holiday plans, daily to do, eating out, do, eat in, appointment, weekend plans, today's agenda, summer bucket list, and appointment. Those are so cute. And then, wow, there's more stickers uh, this week and Daily Agenda and Weekend Plans and Deco and Hearts and Hexagons. Very cute. Oh, and then the Days of the Week. I love these so that you can um, fill in the Days of the Week. And you could use these on your daily pages. If you do daily pages, um, you could do these on those as well. And then some small checklists. And then another Alpha. A smaller one this time and then another set of numbers and then some small icons I like that size icons a lot shine so bright that they can't run from the warmth of your glow so there's a four by six uh, pocket card and these were the ones I had in my hand to begin with so that is the uh, planner add-on kit stuff that was in the glassine bag and then the last thing is I love these we haven't had these in a while and I love them. I bought some of them from the uh, Coco Daisy store on Etsy. Coco Daisy has like a, I think it's like a warehouse store. And they had some leftover ones of these. I always think this is two sheets because they're so thick that it feels like two sheets of sticker. But it's just one because it's kind of like, it's almost like cardstock stickers. They're not quite as thick as cardstock. But yeah, and then you can see, see the alphabet there. I think you can see that. Yeah, you can. Um. And these are a pretty buttery yellow. They're so pretty. So love those. All right, that was the planner add-on kit. So next up we have dashboards. So hang tight, I'll be right back. All right, here are the dashboards. They come in an A5 size and a personal size. A lot of people ask, why, do, or why are there two of them? Why would I want two of them? Um, in an A5 size, sometimes I use these, and sometimes I'll use these on a background or um, I'll just clip them in and you can back them up to each other and they make a cute little clip in just you know you can just think of all different kinds of ways to use them 
So um, they do look exactly the same except for the size. Another option is there is a Coco Daisy Buy Sell Trade um, site on Facebook. And so if you want to use the A5 and you don't want the personal ones, you could. somebody will probably always want them. Um, so the first one says July. That's very pretty. And then Hello Summer with the stripe. I like the stripe. I like the bright colors too. Deep summer is when laziness finds respectability. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, yeah. Our deep summer kind of happens in September, but, yeah, we'll take it. June is still fresh. But, oh, gosh, that's pretty. Oh, and this one's pretty, too, with just the edge. Let the sun shine in. Look how bright and cheery that is. It's so cute. Oh, and this one's super cute, too. Wow, I'm like, what can I, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten things. So you could do a ten things list on these. Um, ten things you like about summer or your top ten favorite songs, whatever you can think of. But th that's really cute. All right, so that was the dashboard kit. And I will put these away, and then we will move on to stickers. All right, let's look at sticker kits. I have, um, I normally get the planner sticker kit, the Daisy add-on sticker kit, and the classic planner sticker kit. This month I added the Bible journaling sticker kit. I'm thinking about letting one of these two go because they're very, they're similar but it's hard for me to decide between them. So this month I said, okay, I'll just add this one, figure out what I wanna do. But, um, so I'm gonna have lots of stickers this month. And the only reason that I'm letting one of them go is because I just won't use that many stickers. So um, let's compare and contrast the planner sticker kit with the classic planner sticker kit. So first off, the planner sticker kit comes with a set of transparent dots. So there's that. So that's just a little extra in the planner sticker kit. I think the classic planner sticker kit has an extra sheet when we get to that. So they both start with boxes. The planner sticker kit boxes are the size of an Erin Condren with a couple, little bit of washi at the bottom. The classic planner sticker kit is the size of a class, classic happy planner with a few boxes at the bottom and some little heart flags. Then um, in the planner sticker kit, we go on to clipboards and trackers, and then some small um, stickers at the bottom where you can record TV shows or what you ate or what you're going to cook or that sort of thing, and trackers. And then in the classic planner sticker kit, there are more boxes and one tracker, um, deco boxes, and then regular boxes. All right, and so there's, and this is how the classic planner sticker kit has an extra sheet. So here are the clipboards for the planner sticker kit, and then here are clipboards and trackers for the classic planner sticker kit. And you can see that they are longer because the boxes in a happy planner are longer than an Erin Condren. However, if you use an A5, both of these will work. Um, you can kind of make these work for whatever, even though the boxes are specifically the size of those two planners. Okay, so then this one in the planner sticker kit, oh, I'm not I'm knocking them all around. Um, you get the hydrate sticker, some words, and some boxes, and a few more little trackers there. I'm gonna flip that around. And then in the classic planner sticker kit and the planner sticker kit, oh, I see, I should go back to this one. Okay, so we compared this one, you got hydrate stickers and boxes and words. And then this one, you get colorful words, more colorful words, and deco and one little box there. All right, so in both of them, you get the, the uh, headers, the checklists, um, some little flags, and some um, icons. And then on the planner sticker kit, you get a little bit of deco. With the classic planner, you get four weekend banners, um, whereas with the planner sticker kit, you just get one. All right, and then see, this is why I have such a hard time giving up one of these because while this sheet is very similar, these two sheets are not similar at all. So this one, it gives you a cute little blue striped 
periwinkly blue striped uh, alpha with some washi. And then this one has some hexagons and some smaller boxes that fit on the A5 monthly from the loose inserts perfectly. This is the perfect sheet for the A5 monthly. So there's both of those. And then you can see we've got the same. Um, so this is these are transparent sheets. So you've got faux washi here and then the little color washes. For these, I write the word and then I put the sticker on it because they're kind of hard to write on. You could use a Sharpie. I just don't always have a Sharpie handy. Um, and then these have the um, art with words and then a couple of sets of washi. So yeah, super cute, both of those. So that is the classic planner sticker kit and the planner sticker kit. All right, let's put those off to the side. And now I guess I'll just compare the uh, Daisy add-on sticker kit and the Bible journaling sticker kit. And we'll see. I'm not even sure if they're similar or worth comparing, but we'll see. But the first page does have deco on both of them. Um, the add-on sticker kit has some positive um, affirmations at the bottom. The, your energy creates your reality. Determined to get things done. Dream big. Work hard for it. And I like those a lot. Um, so yeah, there's both of those. So they both have boxes, but the boxes are unique in each one of them. They're totally different. The sheet that has the boxes. This one has some cute little... Um, tab type boxes, some scallop circles, hexagon circles, a uh, little uh, like label, what would you call those? F frame, label frames, and then some boxes. And then this one has some flags and, um, oh, and this is cute, the um, little, little cartoony kind of drawing of boxes and some more flags. So this is Daisy add-on, this is Bible journaling. So Daisy add-on has a set of alphas and Bible journaling has um, some positive um, Bible type saying. So the Lord is on my side. The more grateful I am, the more beauty I see. Love people the way that Jesus loves you. So it is kind of leaning in a, um, a Christian sort of way. And so that works for me. If that doesn't work for you, I totally understand that. The Daisy add-on sticker kit might be a better fit for you. So, um, yeah, so this is a really nice neutral alphabet here. And then this one in the Bible journaling kit has some smaller boxes down here. So that's cute. So then, oh, there's more, oh, there's more stickers in the Bible journaling kit. Okay. Um, so I'm going to just keep going with Bible journaling over here. So we have some faux washi and some numbers that were like the ones in the planner sticker kit. And then I love these alphas too, the ones that are a color with a little black outline around them. Love, love, love those. Um, and so this is like a light blue in the Bible journaling sticker kit. I love that extra set of alphas. And then both kits give you a set of um, transparent uh, words with art and then some faux washi at the bottom. So yeah, so I am all stickered up this month. I have so many stickers, um, but that'll be fun because I love putting stickers everywhere. All right, here is the Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping Kit, and I'm gonna start with the washi on this one. Oh, I think I did well with pulling that one apart. There we go. And let me get it started. Sometimes it's hard to tell which way it starts, even when you can find the spot. Oh, and this is like a color wash. Wow, and it too has a very long repeat. Very cute. And a lot of times what I'll do with this is like, maybe if I just want purples and blues, you know, like from there to there, you can get a whole A5, you know, and then you just get purples and blues. And then sometimes with other kits, like if it's a springy kit and it has yellows and greens, you can always come back and pull that kind of part. Ugh, once again, I'm just gonna rip this off, put that off to the side. And then I'm not gonna take these out, but these alphabets, I love these alphabets. They do have sticky on the back of them, which makes them super easy to use. And they are a deep blue, which is really good looking. And I love using those on my dashboards. All right, we've got die cuts. More die cuts. And look at that cute stamp. I can't help but look at it because I uncovered it when I went to go put the die cuts out. So 
So there are the die cuts. Let me push that out of the way. And here are the stamps. Look how cute this is. And Christine did a video on how to use these stamps. I'm just like, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna make a background out of that one. And um, she did some layering with them and it was so, so cute. So um, yeah, check that out. Christine's video on uh, YouTube on the Coco Daisy uh, YouTube page. Um, and then we have white foam letters. Love these. Oh, beach bound, poolside trip, breeze, summer. Oh, there we go. And then here is the, um, this is a different dory. This is the standard dory. So the one that I showed you before in the planner section is called a daisy dory, and this is called a standard dory. Um, you can get a daisy dory in this size just to make it confusing, um, which looks like the one that I showed you, but is in just this size. But this one is specifically for memory keeping. Some months I memory keep. I think I am going to memory keep in this this month. I tend to cut it down the middle once again, and then I put it together with book rings so that that way, if I don't use the whole book, I don't have blank pages. I just take the pages out. So it starts with the stripe, and then it'll have a blank page, and then um, a printed page. And this makes it very easy to set up a memory keeping spread. This is just a really quick and easy way to do it. That's pretty. I always look at this and I'm like, oh, I like these papers. And then it ends up being the memory keeping papers. And so, um, yeah, I finally learned that. Live in the sunshine, that's pretty. That pattern, I like that a lot. And then some of the pages are just blank. So you can start however you want with those. And, um, and I save this paper and use it for, like if I don't use it for memory keeping, I use it for like stamping and that sort of thing. I have just a little tray that I keep scrap paper in. This is so cute with these swatches. Very cute. Oh, I love that pattern. Oh yeah, and that yellow hatch diamond. And that, that's a really nice pattern. I like green a lot. Oh, that's cute going across the page like that. And there we go, that is the standard Dory. So that is let me put it over here. I'm putting things away as I go today so that I don't have this big pile of mess after I finish doing unboxing because that's sometimes how it is. Grab your swimsuits, pack the car, let's go somewhere not too far. We can sink our toes in the sand and soak up some vitamin D and then watch the sunset, just you and me. I wanted to go to the beach today. We live about, I don't know, it's probably eight minutes from my door to the sand. And, um, but the weather wasn't good. It wasn't actually raining, but it just wasn't a beach day. So we went to the movies instead, but still, I wanted to go to the beach. Today's highs and lows. Oh, that's cute. Oh, I love that. I love that. I think it's an optical illusion. It looks like the lines are slanty, but I'm pretty sure that they're not. Pretty sure that they're not, but they look like they are. The horizontal lines I'm talking about. Currently loving right now. That's really cute. And then look at that. Oh my gosh. I don't know if the camera is catching it, but like this is so iridescently, fabulously blue, these little raindrops. Wow. Wow. It does roll, so I'm going to put it underneath these because... I want it to kind of lay flat. And then we have chipboard stickers. These are so cute. And I do have a video on how to make um, paper clips out of these, which is a super cute idea. And I haven't done it in a long time and I really should do it soon. So if I don't do it this month, I might do it next month. I oh, love that color of these alphas. So we have script puffy alphas. And now we have the memory keeping papers. So the planner papers are folded over and you get three of them. So it's kind of like six sheets. And then the memory keeping papers are not folded over and you get six of them. And you can see that you, they repeat. It's three patterns, but they're different on the other side. So this will be the six total patterns, but you have this on one side, so these two, this is front and back for the first one. Look how pretty that looks together. And then this one is, oops, I've got it upside down. So it's the green and the swatches. 
are back to back. That's really pretty. And then the lemons, there is a piece of lemon paper in the um, June of 2019 kit, and I don't know if I used it or not. I have to go back and look. It may have navy blue on it, and that may make me not want to use it as much with this kit, even though there are blues in this kit. Um, and then the peach circles. Um, I have to go back and look because I have my paper saved somewhere else. And so just an added bonus, Christine goes through and shows you how to do a layout. Oh, look, she did that. She might have said that in her video. That might have been why I thought of it. Um, yeah, how cute is that? Make a little banner. Um, and yeah, she shows you how she does everything, which is really cute. And it gives you three if you've never done memory keeping before or if you're just stumped for something. This just gives you jumping off places because whether yours turns out exactly like hers, which is fine, or different, when you're showing it to someone else and you're loving your memories, nobody's going to say, well, that looked just like the one Christine did. The idea is to save your memories, not to like come up with some Picasso sort of original idea so these are awesome to start with so let me put this stuff off to the side that was the traveler's notebook memory keeping kit coming back at you with the modern memory keeping kit all right here we are with the modern memory keeping kit and i um <laughs> look at these how cute they are they're the little tiniest teeniest tiniest bull clips they're so cute put those off to the side and then there is another set of these alphas which I love, which is really nice because if there's like, a, if you're saying the same word over and over again, sometimes you use up letters like in a weird way that you wouldn't normally. And so it's really nice to have two sets. All right, here we go. Um, die cuts, let me get them out. So there's all the die cuts. All right, I'm gonna slide those out of the way. I did not even sort them. I'll sort them in a minute. So here are the glitter dots and they're so pretty. And they never show up on camera as pretty as they are in real life, but they are very pretty. And here is the stamp. Oh, once again, I just encourage you to watch Christine's video with the stamps because she um, did really neat things with this lemon. Yeah, she just, she just, did great. I like, I'm going to go back and watch it again because I'm not sure that I remember exactly what it was. And I don't know what I did with my other set of stamps. Oh, I stuck them right there. All right. So then this one, I'm just going to word to the wise. This one, I never try to save this blasting bag because these stickers never come off good. So I don't try to save that one. It's in the trash can. And I like, for a couple of months, we had the um, pocket cards came in um, shrink wrap. I like this better because it's easier to get off. The shrink wrap is kind of hard to get off. And I know it was because of COVID and I think they were, you know, having to use a different vendor. But um, yeah, I'm glad we're back with this one again. July stories documented. And then that one, that one's really cute with the days of the week and the numbers and you could circle whatever it was. And this one has like a little lemon border and then the... Um, and it says July for the month. And then this cute little grid pattern that's kind of overlapped. And then that is super cute with eight little boxes and flags. And then this one. And then this one that has a month so that you could put, you could be tracking something on it. Lots of cute things. All right, and then there is another set of these and I think they are the same. Let me see, I've got the other one right here. Yes, they are the same but that gives you lots of them that you can use everywhere. And um, they're foam and they're adhesive on the back, so that's really nice. And then this is a different set of, pretty sure I'm gonna grab these back out, yes. This is a different set of um, chipboard stickers. The shapes are the same, but the um, what it says on them is different. And then this is a different colored set of alphas. Oh in the script that's really cute and oh i didn't even do these things and then there is another set of hmm, the memory keeping papers there we go there's all four six of them we just saw them in the traveler's notebook memory keeping kit 
refresh. There they go, right there. It's these two. These two are back-to-back, -back, and these two are back-to-back. -back. And then we have a couple of pieces of white paper in case you need to do something. I also, if I don't use these, I save these for stamping too. And one of Christine's um, tips was, if you're afraid of stamping, which I am, um, you can stamp on this type of thing and then cut it out and, um, and use it from there. All right, and then we have some instructions some more instructions for the um, for this kit super cute and then we have the pocket cards so I'm just gonna go through these hold on one second okay I'm just gonna go through these and flip them over There are the pocket cards, and that is the Modern Memory Keeping Kit. Used to be called the Pocket Memory Keeping Kit. All right, now I'm going to do the classified. So if you do not want to see the classified kit, some people like to keep it a secret. I'm not that kind of person, but if you do, don't watch anymore. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you don't already, and click the notifications bell to be notified when I make another video. All right, here is the Planner Classified Kit cute little Simon all incognito on his sticker. Let's get in there and see what's in it. Oh, look at that. I feel like something's in there. There's nothing in there. But by golly, I'm not going to throw away something. Wouldn't that be awful if you threw away something in the bottom of the thing? Okay, look at these cute clips. They're so cute. So cute. And then we have this green washi. I like green. And it's got that grid pattern on it. I've got to get rid of some washi. I just told y'all I um, bought all that Simply Gilded washi. It was like a ton of it. it was, I don't know how many rolls. It was a bunch. And, um, and I just have some that that I don't use, or it's not sticky. Do y'all have washi that's not sticky and you haven't thrown it away? Why have I not thrown it away? I don't know. Um, you know, Christine said this when she did the unboxing. Um, it looks kind of yellow on film, but it truly is green. It's green, but it looks yellow. But trust me, or maybe it's yellow. Oh, that's what it is. It's yellow. It's green on the roll, but it's more yellow when you, when you put it down. That's what it is. Okay. I was saying that, but I wasn't really looking at it while I was saying it. And this is really cool. It's a clear, it's like the um, the month, and it has, it looks a little scratchy, but that's because it has a film on it that you have to peel off so that it'll look nice and clear. But that's just really cool, really cool. Okay, and then there is the Simon card. <laughs> Zero days spill free. Oh, that's funny. And look, he's spilling his coffee. Oh, and Simon's doing a selfie and Gary's photobombing and spilling his coffee. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. All right, there is a set of deco stickers. Some cute, like, conversation tab looking stickers. And then the days of the week, which these are some of my favorite. And then there's also day off, to-do list, beach day, family get together, barbecue day, poolside. Yeah, and so there's two different kinds of alphabets. I mean, alphabets, uh, days of the week on that sheet. So that's so cute. And then the vellum. Oh, I like the vellum. It's kind of striped with the pretty wisteria on it. And then the acetate wowzer. That's very pretty. It's just a color wash. And then this cutie patootie is the clip that goes on the magnetic clip holder. I don't have it handy. It's a big round magnet. If you don't have one of those, um, I think they still sell them in the store, so you can get one so that you can use this. Or you can put a couple of pieces of a foam square in there to kind of push out, and then you can just stick it down on your page, which is what I did last month with it. So that was the planner classified kit. So let me grab the memory keeping classified kit.
All right, this is our last one. And it is the memory keeping class card. Oh, I can't get it open. Oh, that's pretty. Look at this ribbon. Ooh, it's pretty. I'm gonna have to figure out what to do with that. It's a lot too. Like you might be able to get, if you did it along the side of the page, I think there's enough there to do two pages. Cute, cute, cute. And then there are tags. I love these giant tags. They're kind of new. It's been th three, maybe four months. Can't remember. But they're cute. Mine are kind of bendy, but they will bend back out. It seems weird because they were flat in the package. How did they get bendy? Sunshine all day long. A peach colored one. They're kind of stuck together too. And then July stories. There's a little bit of... It came right off. Just a little sticky. Oh, I bet it was from the um, the bag that they were in. July stories. That's really those are really cute. And then I like these little stickers that have words on them. Oh, and then this is really cute. It's like little stitches, and it's stickers. Those are really cute. And then there is another set of this alphabet, the yellow alphabet, which I like. And then there is a set of the planner papers in the Memory Keeping Classified Kit, which I love that you get an extra set of these because I always use so much of my papers. All right, so that, so that was all of the Coco Daisy kits that I have for Wisteria Lane for July of 2021. I can't wait to dig in and start setting up my planner. I hope that you enjoyed this and thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.